So basically what we're looking at here is, well, bots. Uh, you can have as many bots as you want, but I mean, when bot, uh, some of these might be real players, let's be honest. I've seen some people like this on Battle. <laughs> There's probably like a, a couple of guys in there like, is this what we're doing then? Okay. <laughs> so they're jumping, they're knifing. Some are dying to their own grenade, like him. He's died to his own grenade. <laughs> Today I've got quite an interesting video for you. It's a bit different from the usual stuff. Usually it's a top plays video, an only in Battlefield video, or maybe something focused on Battlefield 4. Recently that's been my real focus, but this one is going to be something slightly different. Warsaw revamped. It is something that you'll be hearing a lot more of if things go to plan. A few people have come up with this idea of modding Battlefield 4. Now you might have heard in the past that Venice Unleashed, a Battlefield 3 mod, is coming out soon and that's been the case for many years. This is something separate from that but focused on Battlefield 4. Essentially at the current stage it's an alpha that's being tested and the aim is to create a better experience for Battlefield 4. This means no cheating, none of that DDoS server crashing, we're going to be seeing balance, bug fixes, just some really interesting things and as you've seen in the background there's a lot of stuff that can actually be done to improve the experience on Battlefield. The possibilities are pretty much endless as far as I'm aware and during the recent alpha test we didn't obviously get to play a load of the new content maybe that these people are trying to bring out but what we did get to see is the potential and the scope for maybe 240 player battles or 128 player battles and potentially we could see night maps instead of the usual day maps we could see changes to the red zone on certain maps meaning that those annoying spots that people camping could be changed vehicles could be altered as you see in the background we've got an MRAP here firing a TV missile as unrealistic as that might look but you can get my point really we can have whatever we want with this which is really really interesting I've linked down below the discord server of Warsaw revamped and I'm sure the people over there would be very happy to see a load of new faces I don't think they're testing anything for a little while now but when they were testing the other day they were trying to get as many people onto the server as possible just to stress test it and see what effect it had on the things that they had created now this isn't my area of expertise, I don't have a clue how they're doing it or what they're doing, but from my perspective, as somebody who likes Battlefield 4, I think it's a great idea to try and extend the life of BF4 and create something that the fans of the franchise can enjoy. This is something DICE should have been doing a long time ago, creating a spin-off of Battlefield 4, maybe an 8v8 mode or a 240 player mode on just one map, something that would keep people interested and I'm so happy to see it happening now. So as you can see in the background this is what it looks like it's basically Battlefield 4 you load in just like Battlefield 4 although they have a separate launcher it's not really joinable through battle log it doesn't affect any of your stats we're taking a look at the minute at all of the bots now bots are of course interesting to look at but they are completely useless currently I'm not sure if this can be changed but essentially they are well they're just numbers to be farmed. I don't really see the point of them, although it is fairly interesting when they start killing themselves with grenades and then respawning on actual points. It can be very funny to see a bunch of bots throwing grenades in the middle of an objective. As I said, completely useless, but the scope for something interesting is definitely there. There are full unlocks as well. This means that you can have the Dice Camo on weapon, something that was previously locked down for Dice members only. Nice to see because some of these weapons look absolutely superb in a jet black Dice paint. You can of course already unlock the Dice Camo for your soldier, but this is directly for the weapons and the vehicles. Here we have a sniper rifle firing JDAMs, which is quite funny. And then an MG4 firing incendiary rounds, the same sort of thing that you'd get out of the secondary tank gunner seat or maybe a grenade. This could be altered into some sort of fun game mode, but for the most part it was just keeping the server interesting while people joined in order to stress test. Here you have an MG4 firing cruise missiles, which really would not make for a good mode in my opinion, but definitely funny to see. 
More things can be altered. You can change the speed of vehicles. As you see here, a rib boat going absolutely flat out. My friend Fancy Andy was in the server as well. So some of the clips are from him. You can find his channel in the description below if you're interested in more Battlefield 4 content. So something that I could test on the server was the MRAP with the TV missile. This is one of many things that could potentially be changed. If you've played Venice Unleashed or you've read up about it or whatever, you're interested in that sort of thing, they are planning to bring some really amazing vehicles to that game, two-seater jets being one of them. Now, I think that's a great idea, but whether that can be done in this game, I'm not too sure. What could be changed, though, are the weapons that you use on the jets, for example. Lock-ons could be removed, or maybe lock-ons could be changed. You see my point, they can change whatever they want on these vehicles. This MRAP has been altered. It was only on the US side, so the primary doesn't fire a 50 cal. Instead, it fires a TV missile. Just something interesting. Maybe this could be changed to something else. Maybe you could have it fire smoke grenades, which would give the MRAP a bit more usability on certain modes instead of just being that thing that is used to get from A to B and then as you see explode when a vehicle shoots at it. Again something very interesting that I saw when I was there. There is full ability to modify the physics of the soldiers. Here we have a big jump that you can do basically a space jump I think you can alter the gravity as well and the soldier speed and all sorts of stuff essentially it's the things you see when there is a cheater on a server and they're doing this I assume it's a similar thing but made available to everybody it's very interesting and I'm sure we could have some custom modes almost like quake when you're bouncing around the server with unlimited RPGs now this isn't what they're exactly aiming for it's not an end game thing this this was just messing around in the server stress testing it trying to see as i said earlier in the video what would happen if a load of people joined it's definitely quite entertaining to see as i mentioned as well the red zone could be removed from maps i took an opportunity on shanghai here to drive this bot who'd spawned on a jet ski and obviously they don't really know what they're doing when they're on the vehicles they just randomly do an action he switched seats i stole the jet ski and went out to see what was beyond the red zone now i've done that in a cinematic mode or a spectator mode but never on a jet ski before it was quite interesting you get right through the map here go right through the buildings and then the server owner or one of the admins changed it so the red zone was back again and this was because the bots were running off the map apparently i got caught and then died but it's really interesting to see what possibilities this could hold not so much for opening maps up and making them much larger although that could be interesting on some of the bigger maps giving you a bit of a larger play area but it could be very interesting closing the maps up i'm not certain if this is something they can do or something they've thought about but it means you could have tdm maps on other parts of the map so shanghai tdm could be at the top of the tower it could be maybe on alpha objective it could be in random places some interesting possibilities for sure so that's it for this video this is basically just getting your attention towards this warsaw revamped project it's something that i'm really looking forward to seeing more of i'm hoping that the people doing this is of course in their spare time and it's a passion project more than anything i'm hoping that they have the time and the patience to put this out i'm sure they will and i think it will be made even more exciting with dice not giving us any information on a future battlefield game and i don't think we'll be getting anything for some time this means that they have hungry battlefield players waiting and once they get wind of it people will want to join so thanks to them for putting this together the event was a lot of fun thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video